That was sort of one of the things that they wanted to know. They, they knew I could play all the hand percussion from different parts of the world. Um, <clears throat> but they wanted to know if I could do some, some programming. When I'd go out for string cheese practice on a first string band, I'd usually stay at Travis's place. And uh, we would just do these jams from like 10 at night till 4 in the morning. And the style that we had the most fun jamming on is if we would try to do something that's more like drum and bass or like a thievery corporation type of groove. Or, you know, those, those were just all, always the the ones where we had more fun, you know, doing with, as opposed to trying to do, you know, a two-person, like, fusion thing or a jazz thing or, you know, something else. I put a lot of different effects on my voice. Travis will do a lot of effects on his keyboards or his guitar or something. And eventually, when you get tired of using um, a certain limited number of effects, you're like, oh, what's more that I, that I could throw in there? So after doing that, you know, tour after tour, you just build this whole library of, of different things you can access. The iPads really um, help make this great for me. You know, there's something that I really like about on other pieces of hardware where you're actually having to turn a knob or, you know, hit a button or something like that. But um, I've really gotten used to having so much information concentrated into the, into the iPads. And if you were to look at them, it's kind of weird, like, how would I get used to all that? Because all the, all the squares that I'm pressing are really tiny. And I'm playing mostly with one hand on the drums, so I have to access as much as possible with the other hand at once. So it's a, it's a different thing.